Hi everyone, this is Mens here. I'm going to be going over the 9.7 uh, update. This is a little preview. It's still in the closed testing phasing, but it should be similar to what we see when it comes on a live server. Just a few characteristics of tanks will change. Now something that not everyone might have heard yet, yes they're nerfing penetration on a lot of the upper tiers. However, they've decided to hold off on that, which is a great idea because they weren't really planning on nerfing premium rounds along with the silver rounds in this patch, just the silver rounds, and that would have completely screwed up the balance of the game and made it really unbalanced for people who do not fire premium rounds. So in this patch, there's a few HD vehicle updates, and then the main things being added is the Overlord map, which I haven't had a chance to play yet, but... It seems pretty interesting, but other than that, just new French tanks, mainly. Now, HD tanks, there's the IS-4, which its armor layout didn't really change that much, but it definitely looks better in HD than before. There's the PZ-4 um, Tier 5 Medium, which, eh, it looks good, but nothing huge as far as changes that... Uh, I really see as far as that tanks go. It definitely looks better, especially because it has the side flaps and everything detailed better. Now, the E100 was supposed to be in 9.6, but it was delayed due to a few issues, and now it's back and being released in 9.7, which people might complain about its armor being nerfed and changed, but the main difference is this upper slope part on the upper glacis, it's more angled than the main glaciers, but it's thinner. No one's going to be able to penetrate you unless if they're shooting down at you from like this angle. And aside from that, this uh, upper turret weak spot's mainly the same. It changed a little bit in the model, but I don't think it's going to be like a major weak spot compared to before. It's just about the same. Yeah, good Panzer E100, same change as the E100 upper glacis changed a little bit, made thinner, but the angle's steeper, so no one's going to be able to penetrate you. And on top of the roof now, before this was hard to hit and it wasn't really modeled correctly. Now it's actually a viable weak spot if your tank's actually tall enough to hit it. It is much weaker than the armor on the superstructure that a lot of people tend to shoot at at times if they can't hit the lower glacis. But this back weak spot will be a little bit of a change to it and just because it's easier to hit and actually modeled correctly now. Super Pershing, this was also updated in the HD, one of the first premium tanks. I forget if they've actually done any other premium tanks, but they changed the spaced armor it might be considered a nerf, but at the same time, the, ar it, the armor is very similar. I'm going to have to dive into it and finally update the weak spot guide for it. But as you see here, it's actually modeled correctly with one space armor plate here, a second one, and then the actual hull. Instead of one layer of space armor being added to the hull directly to that thickness, they're now all separate. So... It's going to be deadly against heat, but at the same time, it is going to change its armor protection from the front compared to when AP and APCR shells fire at you. Now, the M48 Patton is not in HD. However, we'll see when it's released if they keep the frontal hull armor the same. They've uh, increased the frontal um, upper glacis, the thickness of it, and around the beak in some areas. So the armor is much tougher now. And depending on what they release in that, they might not release the model right now because right now the collision model is still screwed up with the gun floating a little bit and a few little odd things. But its armor did get a pretty significant buff that it'll actually bounce tier 10 rounds from non-TDs and non-premium rounds now if you hit the upper glacis in some sections. Now the final HC tank would be the ELC or AMX ELC and they added bits on the end and this tank even though small it looks pretty damn good in HD. Now for new tanks there's 
Of course, the tier 9 and tier 10 medium AMX 30s. However, at lower tiers, they've added a few tanks, which they'll seem familiar. They're nothing spectacular or amazing. You have the FCM 36, which if you just hop into the tech tree here, there's just a little bit of change up that it added. And then you have the tier 9 and 10s. It's not a full line. It's a low tier line and then a high tier line. But as far as the low tier goes, you have a hotch kit. Hotch kiss. There we go. And that was already in here. But um, as you see, it's just basically different how they've changed up the French low tiers a little bit. So it's just going to shuffle everything up. But as far as new tanks go, you have the FCM 36 tier 2 light tank. And then the Hotchkiss isn't new, but it's actually before the S35 you see there. And then basically the R35 is also new. I forgot to purchase this one, but it doesn't really look anything. Eh, there we go. Basically, just a few little minor changes at two t Tier 2 and Tier 3. Okay, this is getting too complicated. <laughs> getting a little confused here, but starting at Tier 3, it actually stays in the same line. You have the S35, which you'll notice is pretty similar to the German Premium uh, Medium Tank, I believe. The PZ something. And then you have the Sarl 42, which this thing... If there was a turret to where you don't want to go over a hill, this is it because you're going to take damage because the thing's so freaking tall and wonky. But these tanks, they have pretty good guns on them um, for the lower tiers, for their top guns. They're nothing amazing, but for medium tanks, they work out pretty well. The Tier 5, the Renault G1, it's fairly large for a tier 5 medium and not very fast it's decent but nothing um, spectacular it's definitely slower than a M4 Sherman now this tank the reason why I said M4 Sherman is it's kinda similar as far as its top guns go you have a derp gun 105 millimeter and then you have a 75 millimeter gun now its damage and firepower isn't as good as M4 Sherman which is a little concerning. It's armor, it's all right, but nothing amazing. So this tank definitely will be a little interesting to see how it's balanced. Because right now I feel like it's nothing amazing and kind of boring in a way, at least to me. But some people will like it because it's not exactly bad in any one area. It's just good all around. Now, the main thing that most people are going to be looking at for this patch is the tier 9 and tier 10 AMX 30 variants. At tier 9 you have the AMX 30 prototype which right now it's named a little long and weird but this tank let's just hop into here starting out until you get this 105 millimeter gun depending on what you've unlocked before you're not really stuck with a great tank. It has a decent amount of firepower. However, the main point of this tank is getting that 105 millimeter because you have excellent penetration, which is probably going to get um, buffed up. This is still taking into account the penetration nerfs they have. And they said that they're not going to implement it in 9.7, or that's what they're leaning towards right now and more so towards 9.8 or 9.9 .9 or whatever. But overall, the AMX-30 at tier 9 prototype, very poorly armored. However, it's mobile, has a very good top gun on it. Not a ton of DPM. Its DPM is all right, but at the same time, since you are very fragile, it is hard to use that at times. But Aside from that, very good accuracy aiming time. This thing plays very similar to the Leopard line. And basically the Leopard prototype and the Leopard 1 that the Germans have. Basically the same thing. Um, having a prototype following by the actual 
tank here. Now, the Tier 10 AMX 30B, it improves upon the accuracy, 0.3 accuracy, good aiming time, decent rate of fire and everything on damage and penetration goes. Little lower than a Leopard, but these stats are not final. Who knows how it's going to come to the live server. They might change it a little bit, but right now, this tank compared to Leopard has better soft stats as far as its um, gun goes, so it's a lot easier to use your firepower than on the Leopard 1. has very good gun depression. Um, it does have poor armor like the Leopard 1. However, it is, it's small like the Leopard 1, very compact, but it has this very large commander's cupola on top, which is a gigantic weak spot when you're trying to point over a hill. That's going to be very easy for people to hit, even with bad accuracy. But compared to the Leopard 1, it actually does have a little bit more armor on the front of its turret. It's not going to stop all shots, but it will protect you a little bit, especially against lower tier enemies. But tier 10s will still be able to penetrate you in most spots on your frontal turret. Now, as far as new tanks go and HD models, that's it for 9.7. Um, I will be coming out with videos as far as specific tanks go. I'm going to cover a few, definitely the AMX 30B, and I'm going to play a few here or there. But this patch, a lot of people have been waiting for the HD models coming, especially the Super Pershing. And the IS-4, I've heard quite a few people ask for it because a long time coming. And M48A1 patent buff, hopefully they go through with it because it definitely needs something. Um... I know that it did get nerfed into penetration right now on this test, and they look to undo it. But they also buffed its accuracy on the move, so who knows if that's still going to stick or if they're just going to take that off until they eventually change the penetration values again. But the new French tanks, me personally, I'm not very excited about the lower tiers because I'm kind of already past them. And the higher tiers are definitely fun to play. If you enjoy very mobile mediums, you don't really plan on getting shot a lot, but the gun, nothing com to complain about the gun at all on either of those tanks. Very easy to use, and they're just meant for doing damage and supporting, not so much taking damage in return. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and check out my website, wotguru.com.